Good afternoon. Good afternoon, and welcome to Eastern Kentucky University, December 2016 graduation for the College of Health Sciences. In this ceremony, we are formally recognizing 234 bachelor's degrees, 104 master's degrees, 14 doctoral degrees, 20 associate degrees, for a total of 372 degrees, and two certificates from the eight departments of our college. We here at EKU care about everyone's safety. In order to keep today's celebration just that, Please take a moment to locate the emergency exits. In the event of an emergency, calmly walk, do not run, to the nearest exit and move away from the building to allow emergency personnel access. We thank you for consideration in keeping all attending today's ceremony safe. A set of keys has been found in the parking lot Please check to see if you've lost your keys. You can retrieve those from the registrar's table in the auxiliary gym. At this time, we ask that you please rise for the presentation of colors and the singing of our national anthem. Remain standing until the guard has exited the gymnasium. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dean of the College of Health Sciences of Eastern Kentucky University, Dr. Deborah Whitehouse. Parents, Families and friends, President Benson, distinguished guests, faculty and staff, 
Thank you for joining us today to celebrate with our graduates this milestone event in their lives. At this time, I would like to recognize some special individuals here on the platform who have joined us this afternoon. Dr. Michael T. Benson, President of Eastern Kentucky University. Dr. Jana Weiss, Provost of Eastern Kentucky University. Mr. Nicholas Perlick, Vice President for Development and Alumni Relations. Mr. Barry Pointer, Vice President for Finance and Administration. Dr. Tom Martin, President, International Alumni Association. Dr. Jerry Pogochnik, Dean of the Graduate School. Dr. Shirley O'Brien, Faculty Senate Chair. Regent Richard Day. Regent Louis Diaz. Regent Colin Potter. Regent Brian Mackinnon, Dr. Sheila Presley, Associate Dean, and Dr. Michael Ballard, Part-Time Associate Dean, Dr. Colleen Sneck, Part-Time Associate Dean. Join me in expressing our appreciation. I would now like to welcome President Benson, who will bring opening remarks. Good afternoon. Before I say just a word or two, I want to thank Dr. Jeremy Mulholland and our EKU Symphony Orchestra. Uh, this is a group of students that do not have to be here today but on their own volition are here to offer their musical talents, and I want to thank them very much for uh, doing so. So thank you very much. <laughs> to the class of 2016, congratulations. You did it. This is a maroon letter day in your life. We celebrate the singular accomplishment together with your family and friends gathered here this afternoon. You joined the ranks of graduates, over 100,000 living alumni strong, of an institution which has survived decades of challenges and turmoil, but which has also emerged even stronger and better. The trials of the present day are no different from, those, from what those who have gone before us has, have successfully overcome. I remember hearing a story several years ago of a traveler passing through a dusty portion of Oklahoma during the dark days of the Great Depression. He happened across a lone farm, surrounded by nothing. It had a rickety old sign on the front gate, which read as follows, burn out by drought, washed out by flood, ate out by jackrabbits, sold out by the sheriff, still here. And so are we, still here, since 1874. Just like the new sign welcoming visitors to our campus proudly announces at the corner of the Bypass and Lancaster Avenue. You are graduates of an institution which traces its roots back 142 years. There is much to be said for being part of a tradition tied to a university which has such staying power. The foundation that was put into place continues to be built upon by subsequent generations of students, faculty, staff, and our community. To be sure, the class of 2016 enters a world of tremendous uncertainty filled with conflict, strife, and opportunity. One of my favorite poems is entitled Prospice by Robert Browning. A few lines from Browning's remarkable prose speak to what happens to those ready to face such challenges and equipped to tackle such opportunities. He wrote thus, for sudden, the worst turns the best to the brave. 
The black minutes at end, the elements rage, the fiend voices that rave, shall dwindle, shall blend, shall change, shall become first a piece out of pain. To the graduates before me today, the worst of times turn the best to the brave. This is your moment. Seize the opportunity and strive to make a difference. Do something of benefit to the world with the education you have worked so hard to obtain. Avail yourself of the boundless opportunities before you, given the skills and the abilities you have acquired and the investments made by you and others in your training. Yes, this is the end of your Eastern Kentucky University education. But as the name of today's ceremony suggests, commencement, it is only the beginning, the beginning of the big, bold adventure that awaits you as you enter the world as a proud Colonel graduate. Congratulations. Thank you, President Benson. I would now like to uh, welcome Dr. Jana Weiss, our provost who will bring greetings from academic affairs. Thank you, Dean Whitehouse. Good afternoon. As we celebrate today with our graduates from the College of Health Sciences, on behalf of academics, I have a special thank you to Dean Whitehouse, the associate dean, deans, the chairs, the faculty and staff in health sciences. It's a word of thanks for the high level of quality that you bring to the academic programs at EKU. Academic excellence is EKU's number one strategic goal. And through its numerous accreditations, the successes and the reputation of our graduates, it's clear that excellence is a premier trait for this college. Colin Powell, statesman, a retired four-star general and former United States Secretary of State said, and I quote, if you are going to achieve excellence in big things, you develop the habit in little matters. Excellence is not an exception, it's a prevailing attitude, end of quote. Graduates, I propose that excellence is characteristic of the education you have earned at EKU. Whether it's in the basic skills you have learned or your insight on major challenges we face as a nation and world, you are prepared and will continue this attitude of excellence. While you may feel today that you're leaving EKU, you will learn throughout your career, EKU will be there with you. We will be the degree hanging on your wall, the ever important line on your resume, and we will be in the encouraging words that you will hear resounding from your faculty in years to come saying, you can do this. As, and as you and thousands of other EKU graduates who've gone before you continue to pursue excellence, you will increase the reputational value of an EKU degree for the thousands of future EKU students who will follow in your footsteps. Congratulations, graduates. Best wishes for a wonderful future. Thank you, Provost Vice. Graduates, whether you are launching your career or advancing your practice, each of you has chosen a health profession in a demanding knowledge discipline you will be continually required to think critically and to interact with caring as you work with individuals, families, and communities to improve health. You will unlearn and relearn as the evidence base for best practice continually evolves. You will contribute to shaping evidence that is culturally sensitive and evolving you will have the ability to change lives. You will also have very excellent employment opportunities. Family and friends, you are very fortunate to have a health professional in your close circle of life. Their new expertise will enrich your lives and improve your health. This afternoon's graduates, 
include many who have achieved academic distinction. I want to recognize these groups. If you would please hold your applause until all groups have been recognized. Would all those who are graduating this afternoon from our honors program as honors scholars please stand and remain standing. Would, would all of those graduates who are members of one of Health Sciences Disciplinary National and International Honor Societies and EKU's Interdisciplinary Honor Society. Also, please stand and remain standing as I call your society. Sigma Theta Tau International Nursing's Honor Society. Phi Theta Upsilon Occupational Therapies Honor Society. Epsilon Nu Eta Environmental Health Sciences Honor Society. Eta Sigma Gamma Health Promotion and Administration's Honor Society. Phi Upsilon Omicron Family and Consumer Sciences Honor Society. Rho Phi Lambda Recreation and Park Administration's Honor Society and Phi Kappa Phi, EKU's highest multidisciplinary honor society. Finally, if you are not yet standing, would all those who are graduating, summa cum laude, magna cum laude, or cum laude, please stand and remain standing. Let us honor these groups of outstanding student scholars. Please be seated. Throughout her history, Eastern Kentucky University has been known as a school of opportunity, and we will always be proud of that distinction. I am particularly pleased to acknowledge this afternoon the many first-generation college graduates who are earning a degree. This means that neither of their parents nor anyone in any earlier generation was a college graduate. Will all the candidates for degrees who are the first generation in their families to earn a college degrees please stand. Thank you, please be seated. Commencement is also the time we recognize the many others who have contributed to the success of the candidates with resources, encouragement, love, and understanding. Now I ask the following to stand as you are presented and remain standing so that we may welcome and honor you as a group. Will parents of the candidates for graduation please stand? Will spouses of the candidates please stand? Will grandparents of the candidates please stand? Will children and other family members of the candidates please stand? And will the faculty and staff who have instructed and served these candidates please stand? Degree candidates, Please join me in showing your appreciation for these very important people in your lives with a generous round of applause. Thank you. The college is pleased to present both an undergraduate and a graduate student speaker for our ceremony. Dr. Michael Ballard, Chair of Health Promotion and Administration, will introduce our undergraduate student speaker, and Dr. Colleen Snack, Chair of Occupational Science and Occupational Therapy, will introduce our graduate student speaker. It is my great pleasure to introduce to you the Health Sciences undergraduate speaker, Lane Mitchell, from Reynolds Station, Kentucky. Lane is graduating with a degree in public health. Lane's husband, Michael, parents, Ken and Julie Williamson, and sisters, Lacey, 
Lisa and Lauren are present to celebrate with her today. I know they are as proud of her as we are and of her accomplishments. We know it is, it is my honor and privilege to introduce the undergraduate speaker this afternoon's commencement, Ms. Lane Williamson Mitchell. start today by saying thank you to everybody seated before me or behind me on the stage. I want to thank every single EKU student, faculty and staff member, alumni, and all of our families and friends. Without your support and dedication, none of us could be here today. With this in mind, I would like to talk about gratitude. You see, I'm what you would call a non-traditional student. It took a long time for me to figure out what I wanted to be when I grew up. I had an assortment of jobs, ranging from being a veterinary technician, salesperson, cook, receptionist, and working at a hospital. I was restless. I wasn't sure where I belonged or what gifts I had to offer the world. My then boyfriend and now husband kept encouraging me to go back to school, and my mom enthusiastically agreed with him. So with his support and the special kind of guilt that only your mom can give you, I decided to see what was out there. I spent many hours working with an academic counselor, taking personality tests, career compatibility tests, and meeting with professionals in different fields to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. I can't express my gratitude for all of their efforts because it led me to public health and it changed the course of my life. In public health, I found a home, a place where my heart could plant roots. And here at EKU, I found a place to grow. I've never seen such a passionate group of professionals as I've had teaching me the last few years. They are truly dedicated to their fields and to the success of their students. I think they even helped me overcome my fear of public speaking. I've also had the privilege of having class with some amazing people. My fellow students have come from so many different backgrounds and have taken so many different paths to today, and yet we formed a community. Now, don't let me fool you into thinking that getting here today has been a bed of roses. There have been days I wanted to quit. I think we all have days where life overwhelms us, when we question our abilities, when our dreams seem too big, and we want to give up. These are the days that we have to remember to be grateful. Grateful to the families and friends who encourage us to keep going. Grateful to our professors for giving us just a few extra minutes of their day. Grateful to EKU for being a place where we can prepare for the next phase of our lives. And grateful to the people who didn't think we would make it because they showed us how strong we really are. We all have people who helped get us here today. I have my husband who's worked incredibly hard to provide me every available opportunity to achieve my dream. Even though he says he's just waiting on me to make the big bucks so that he can stay home. I have my mom who showed me that it's never too late to complete your education. And I've had the pleasure of learning from some truly amazing teachers and professors along the way. Now, for some of us, today is just a step in our academic careers. And for others, we will be moving on to work in our respective fields. But all of us, we made it here together. Now we have the opportunity to show our gratitude for all the people who helped get us here today by helping someone else succeed. Nobel Peace Prize winner Albert Schweitzer said it best when he said, at times our own light goes out and is rekindled by a spark from another person. 
Each of us has cause to think with deep gratitude of those who have lighted the flame within us. So again, I would like to thank everyone here today for helping light the flame in me. I have the honor of introducing to you an outstanding student who will present our graduate student address this afternoon. That honor belongs to Caitlin Palmer of Louisville, Kentucky, who's graduating with a degree, with a master's degree in occupational therapy. Sharing in Caitlin's special today, today are her mom, Kathy Palmer, dad, Bill Palmer, sister and brother-in-law, Marissa and Zach Randolph, her nephew, Andy, her aunt, Vicki, and, and Mima Gladys Palmer. It is my pleasure and privilege now to introduce the graduate student speaker for this afternoon's commencement program, Caitlin Palmer. To President Benson and the Eastern Kentucky University Board of Regents, and to distinguished members of the faculty, it is an honor to be here along with the vast amount of renowned and diverse alumni, special guests, family members, and friends who are gathered here today. Most of all, it is an honor to be here with you all, the class of 2016. We have made it. I want to thank my family for their unwavering support throughout my six years in college, my friends for getting me through long nights of homework, intervention plans, and sometimes tears, I also want to thank my professors of the Occupational Science and Occupational Therapy Program who have taught me vast amounts of information and irreplaceable skills to be a successful professional, and the members of EKU's housing staff who have given me a home and experiences that I cannot even begin to thank you for. When I, th when I think back on my EKU experience, I cannot help but get a little nostalgic. After completing my rainy tour at EKU my junior year of high school, I knew this was the school for me. EKU supported me through my first time living away from my parents. When I had to learn some hard life lessons about waking up to an alarm and that a person cannot live off coffee and Einstein pizza bagels alone, this university and faculty gave me the support to build my leadership skills and gained self-assurance to lead others. Beyond anything, EKU gave me the confidence to stand before you today as a candidate for a master's degree in occupational therapy. I have to be honest and tell you that when I thought about this graduation, I was a little scared. Scared of leaving a place that has been my home for six years, scared of what I'll do after field work, and also scared of making that first loan payment. I would like to share two simple life lessons that I gained from EKU that helped me and will hopefully help you to lessen the fear. The first is that there is no box. As we were finishing our first year of graduate school, I remember one of our professors giving us a pep talk about our future. One of the things she told us was that there is no box. Me, being a tad bit type A, cringed a little, but this has stayed with me. We have no limits. EKU and all the people we have encountered have given us the skills to create our own vision, to be our own person, and not to confine ourselves to a box. The world has too many boxes, too many people that think the same way. We have the creativity to think of ways to go beyond what is already established to places and things no one has ever thought of. The second is that we have an edu education beyond just the degree we will receive today. None of us will leave EKU the same way we came. Beyond the knowledge about textiles, certain diagnoses, or environmental modifications, we have grown in areas that cannot be captured on a syllabus. We have learned to embrace diversity, to learn that we are not always right, to be a team player 
to realize that failure happens, and also how to navigate a really busy parking lot when we are late for class. <laughs> As we leave today to go on to bigger and better things, I want to leave you with a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. Life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? EKU has given us each the answer to this question. Our time at this university has given us the skills so we do not have to fear. Instead, we are charged with the responsibility to change the world we live in, to make it a better place, and to educate others on what we know. This may be through one intervention with a child with autism, taking vitals on a patient, or having a tough conversation with someone. We did not get our college degrees alone, and we do not go out into the world alone. Do not fear, serve others, and change the world we live in. Thank you. Thank you, Lane, our undergraduate student speaker, and thank you, Caitlin, our graduate student speaker, for your inspiring words to us. President Michael Benson and Provost Jana Weiss will now proceed with the formal conferring of degrees on our graduates. The department chairs will present candidates from their discipline. Candidates, as your department name is called, please stand and remain standing until the final group is called. Beth Gamble, Chair of Associate Degree Nursing, will present the candidates from her department. Will the candidates for degrees in Associate Degree Nursing please stand? Dr. Donna Corley, Associate Chair of Baccalaureate and Graduate Nursing, will present the candidates from her department. Will the candidates for degrees in baccalaureate and graduate nursing please stand? Dr. Carolyn Harvey, Chair of Environmental Health Science and Medical Laboratory Science will present the candidates from her department. Will the candidates for degrees in environmental health science and medical laboratory science please stand? Dr. Eric Fuchs, Chair of Exercise and Sports Science, will present the candidates from his department. Will the candidates for degrees from the Department of Exercise and Sports Science please stand? Dr. Dana Bush, Chair of Family and Consumer Sciences, will present the candidates from her department. Will the candidates for degrees in all areas of family and consumer sciences please stand? <laughs> Dr. Michael Ballard, Chair of Health Promotion and Administration, will present the candidates from his department. Will the candidates for degrees in Health Services Administration and Public Health please stand? Dr. Colleen Snack, Chair of Occupational Science and Occupational Therapy, will present the candidates from her department. Will the candidates for degrees in Occupational Science and Occupational Therapy please stand? <laughs> Dr. Sheila Presley, Associate Dean, will present the candidates from the Recreation and Park Administration Departments and the general education degrees. Would the candidates for degrees in all areas of recreation and park administration please stand? Would the candidates for degrees in general studies in health sciences please stand? Dr. Weiss. President Benson, Dean Jerry Pogodchnik will recognize candidates for graduate degrees.
The College of Health Sciences offers the following graduate degrees, Master of Science, Master of Science in Nursing, Master of Public Health, Doctor of Nursing Practice, and Occupational Therapy Doctorate. President Benson, with the recommendation of the faculty, the deans, and I present these candidates to you for the conferring of their degrees. Candidates, the long anticipated hour has come. You are here with family and loved ones looking on. The faculty and officers of the university are gathered in witness and testimony to your conduct and purpose. Therefore, by virtue of the authority granted me by the Board of Regents of Eastern Kentucky University, and with the faculty's recommendation, it is now my pleasure to confer upon each of you the appropriate degree, and to hereby vest each of you with the rights and privileges pertaining to that degree. Once verified by final grades, your diploma will be confirmed and acknowledged by the great seal of Eastern Kentucky University, and I congratulate you. Candidates, please be seated. Department chairs and faculty will now proceed with the presentation of candidates for degrees within the College of Health Sciences. Graduates will receive diploma covers and graduate students will be hooded with the colors of their discipline and Eastern Kentucky University. Dean Whitehouse, department chairs and faculty will now proceed with the presentation of candidates for degrees within College of Health Sciences. Graduates will receive a diploma cover and graduate students will be hooded with their colors of their discipline and Eastern Kentucky University. Associate of Science in Nursing, Vanessa Camacho. Jessica Lake. Grace Jennings. Catherine Denny. Anne Marie Rains. Macy Smith. Hannah Taylor. Ricky Wesley. Holly Gatliff. Krista Combs. At this time, we would like to pause to honor one of our own who is not with us to celebrate today. I'd like to, th I'd like to ask everyone to please rise for a moment of silence to celebrate the memory of Jasa Goodpaster. Accepting Jasa's diploma in her honor is her father and her mother. Doctor of Nursing Practice, Amanda Likens. <laughs> Carrie New. Stacy Watkins. Thank you. 
Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Sarah Friedis. Rachel Warth. Christina Callahan. Kevin Kruger. Mary Moore. Victoria Grant. Erica Wright. Brittany Ritchie. Marcus Selsky Green. Shelby Smith. Bethany Jones. Chelsea Goff. Christina Jacobson. Lindsay Monson. Sean Fields. Ethan Beasley. Noah Reed. Siobhan Lister. Priyanka Shaw. Brooklyn Moreland. Mackenzie Welch. Carrie Norris. Sydney Hatcher. Kelsey McDonald. Stephanie White. Kellen Lester. Mackenzie Franks. Esther Godby. Nicole Jones. John Tellick. <laughs> Chelsea Coldiron. Min Young Davidson. Kristen Myers. Ashley Riley. Sarah Elliott. Hi, Sarah. Mary Mukugu. Hasina Banyu. Shital Garum. Amy Huff. Cassie Carr, Master of Science in Public Health. Ryan Gilpin. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Environmental Health Science, Benjamin Taylor. <laughs> Melissa Gimmer. Andrew Shuck. Dora Sanders. Julian Speaks. Amy McAdams. Daniel Reneker. Corinne Schwab. Sala Alsugayer. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Medical Laboratory Science, Taylor Collins. <laughs> Caitlin Harper. Gabrielle Rinborg. James Baird. 
Sanik Patel. Angel Smith. Janie Fall. Master of Science, Physical Education, Sarah Beatty. <laughs> Broderick Blanton. Brandon Turnley. Clark Moak. Corey Linkus. <laughs> Neil Settle. Donald Hawkins. Floyd Coffey. <laughs> Rashi Ferguson. <laughs> John Matthews. Tyler Hurley. Marcus Pearson. Curtis Strau. Nathan Collins. Bachelor of Science, Sport Management, Michaela Campbell, Scott Spangler, Andrew McKee, Brian Green, Bachelor of Science, Physical Education, Seth Hunt, Anthony Hall, David Hefner, Christopher Hunt, Jason Wilson, William Lockenen, Brian Tilford. Latanya K. Roberts. Bachelor of Science, Apparel Design and Merchandising. Drexter Blue.
Hannah Fisher. Amadi Brooks. Lauren Holloway. Whitney Scribner. Bachelor of Science, Child and Family Studies, Mary Murphy. Marie Costell. Brittany Stevenson. Colleen Valls. Lisa Turner. Sydney Bishop. Shelby Moberg. Takesha Mack. Cornisha Jackson. Bachelor of Science, General Dietetics, Heather McGuire. Mackenzie Osborne. Sarah Ratliff. Charlotte Coots. Bachelor of Science, Health Services Administration, Amanda Barton. Megan Hoovler. Shanna Windeston. Lindsay Johns. Kaylee Moore. Michaela Sidwell. Megan Conley. Sabrina Joe Anderson. Joseph Duodu. Joseph Duodu. Mitchell Branham. Alexandria Baker. Mackenzie Hopkins. Peyton Hornsby Hearn. Kelsey Woolham. Samantha Sexton. Heather Fleury. Courtney Whitlatch. Lane Williamson. Allison Schaefer. Callie Hendrickson. Kanan Davis. Taylor Fazig. Monique Shaw. Mariah Winstead. Amber Marshall. Carissa Simon. Kimberly Scott. Doctor of Occupational Therapy, Kanique Brown. <laughs> Doctor of Occupational Therapy, Alan Keener. Doctor of Occupational Therapy, Mary Kim Qualls. <laughs> Dr.
Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Christina Selick. <laughs> Megan Fonte. Maggie Jasper. <laughs> Stacy Neat. <laughs> Casey Gannon. Sarah Wire. Sarah Mulder. Catherine Michael. Shannon Kelly. Jordan Holtvote. Jennifer Austin. Macy New. Whitney Lefker. Adrian Fowl. Christina Rector. Ashley Smith. Meredith Willett. Sarah Henwood. Kaylee Brock. Morgan Hanna. Rachel Price. Carrie Ann Riley. Elizabeth Hammer. Savannah Fields. Bridget Miracle. Melanie Thompson. Chelsea Burton. Michaela 
Lacey. Kylie Tillett. Susan Hudson. Emily Fife. Kelsey Fisher. Amanda Harris. Jessica Hubbard. Emily Kite. Lauren Carter. Rachel Parsley. Emily Iker. Zachary Souter. Sarah Durham. Emily Coleman. Haley Kidd. Kathleen Cummings. Amanda Dyer. Kira Waugh. Ashley Crowley. Megan Freeman. Felicia Wink. Mary Palmer. Rebecca Simpson Pinkston. Kyra Piles. Shyla Todd. Amy Spence. Julia Minlina. Jeffrey Couch. Caitlin McCommons. Autumn Dawn Rowe.
Lee Hodge. Ashley Livingston. Blake Phillips. Brooklyn Lewis. Hillary McCain. Taylor Grayson. Jeremy Edisamba. Casey Collett. Amy Davis. Hillary Klingel. Kelsey Payton. <laughs> Alyssa Bodine. <laughs> Jamie Couch. <laughs> Catherine Fister. Corey Weibel. <laughs> Master of Science, Recreation and Park Administration. Tessa Riley. Ramona Sudbeck. Bachelor of Science, Recreation and Park Administration, Megan White. Erica Sawyer. Colleen Sweeney. Quincy Essex. Caitlin Baker. Mackenzie Riopel, Jane Nisbet, Crystal Johnson, Kaylin Flynn, Paige Painter. The Jesus Pinto. Caleb Steele. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts, General Studies in Health Sciences. Zachary Berge Van Hoos. Michael Howell. Josh Hamilton. Justin Wolfer, Melanie Brockman, Hannah Martin, 
Associate of General Studies in Health Sciences, Kaylee Cornett. Peggy Wagner. Are you next? No, yeah. uh, you move the tassel. Okay. As our graduates are making their way back to their seats, how about a big round of applause for Michael Bradley and for doing all the names? <laughs> well done, Michael. <laughs> graduates of the class of 2016, the moment for which you have worked so long and so hard is now at hand. If you have not already done so, please move the tassels now from the right to the left. Congratulations. Alumni are so very important in the life of a university, and we are blessed at Eastern to have the loyal support of more than 140,000 alumni. Here to represent the International Alumni Association, Dr. Tom Martin will now offer greetings to our newest alumni. <laughs> Thank you, Dean Whitehouse. Graduates, today you are joining a very special group of individuals, men and women from all over the world who have brought great honor to this institution by distinguishing themselves in their careers and in their communities. Today's commencement is a very special moment in your life. A number of your future transactions or experiences will be very transactional. You'll get a product or a service, you'll pay for it, and that'll be it. But today we break out the robes and we perform this ceremony, and some of you will get selfies with President Benson after this uh, commencement. Because the degree you have earned is transformative. It is your ticket to the gateway of the world. As Provost Vice said earlier, Eastern Kentucky University will be attached to your name for the rest of your life. It is a capstone of your success and the relationships that you created with students and faculty that will last a lifetime. Do you remember the person that volunteered to speak to one of your classes, or the faculty member that gave you that extra encouragement, or the significant event on campus that motivated you to get to where you are today? How do you ensure that the next generation of students, particularly first-generation students, follow and get that same opportunity? The letters that have been added to the back of your name or the degree that you have earned or the hood that you've been awarded is not a ticket to entitlement or some rarefied air, but it is your credential to responsibility. It is an expectation that you will pursue the world's biggest challenges head on and demand to be a leader. Be engaged, be encouraging, be extraordinary, go Colonels. Thank you, Dr. Martin. 
Now, for one last time, let us recognize with a hearty round of applause Eastern Kentucky University's newest graduates and alumni of the College of Health Sciences. We hope, we hope that each of you will stay close with your EKU family and that you will visit us frequently. You are always welcome. Graduates, to continue your celebration at the conclusion of today's ceremony, please meet your families, friends, and faculty in the reception being held in the alumni gym directly behind me on the concourse. Back here. Uh, you may enter from either end of the corridor. There will be several stations set up with refreshments that will be available. Family and friends, please take this time to meet your graduate friends and faculty. I would like to thank our reader, Dr. Michael Bradley, our musicians, Dr. Joyce Wolfe and the EKU Symphony Orchestra for the beautiful music. Thank you to our interpreters and to our graduation ceremony coordinator, Reglina Sammons, all faculty, staff, and student marshals of the College of Health Sciences and EKU who work to support our college event today. Let's thank them. Would you please stand as we jointly sing My Old Kentucky Home and remain standing until the stage party exits the floor at the conclusion of today's ceremony. Thank you.